I'm a parenting expert in the four kids who live in my house, <laughs> just like you're a parenting expert on the three kids who live in your house. We're joined by our parenting yeah. expert, Dr. Deborah Gilboa. You said to call you Dr. G. Dr. G, also known as Debbie Gilboa. Hi, Hi. Dr. G. Hello. Family physician and parenting expert. Thank you for coming in this morning. Dr. G is in the house here <laughs> along with her four beautiful boys. This is Good Morning America. A parenting alert this morning. The latest social media it? sensation. It's called the Charlie Charlie Challenge. Is there a danger at all? Thank goodness. Unlike so many social media trends that we worry about as parents, it's harmless. It's a great opportunity to both ask our kids, what would you ask? Because then we get some insight oh, into what they most want to like know that. right That's now. That's a great idea. So let's talk about what they're learning and what we should be teaching them. Kids are always looking for hypocrisy. So if we don't do what we want them to do, they will ignore what we have to say. In our house, when you turn seven, you get a big privilege. You get your own email account and you get a big responsibility. You do the laundry. How did I know that a seven-year-old could do the laundry? Because when I was seven, I did the laundry. <laughs> What's the right age for a child who just wants a cell phone? I would say when they've raised enough money to pay half their bill every month and not a smartphone. Good old fashioned flip phone, honey. It's okay, I remember when they had cords, you know. <laughs> Many parents wonder, when is it the right time to get my child a cell phone? Our children can show that they're ready for a cell phone by treating their belongings well and not losing too many things by giving us a list of rules they think they should have to follow when they have their cell phone. Our kids are often stuck seeing things that they're not ready for, but we shouldn't have to worry about that from a school assignment. This is a topic parents want to hear about all the time. You know, my kids are going to have celebrity interests, so how do I say to my kids, this is terrible. Kids idolize celebrities. Oh, we think right. they can do no wrong. What Justin Bieber's parents aren't giving him, what our kids need is resilience. Hmm. You're going to make bad choices, things are going to go wrong, but what they're not getting is any kind of then what do you do? How do you bounce yeah. back? How do you handle it? Our kids want to see behind the curtain, so this is a great time to encourage them to be a little critical without us having to judge them. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks thank very you. much. That was great thank insight. You. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks so much. There's a lot of bad news out there. Our kids, if something is going to shake their foundation, we need to shore up the foundation they have that they can trust us. We are all going to suffer from adversity. If you protect them from so much and you keep them in their happiness bubble, they will be shocked and betrayed by life. We're really trying to make relationships stronger. I love this idea, it's such a cool idea. I really want to empower as many parents as I can because if I can talk to large groups of parents and make them laugh a little bit and make them think a little differently about the difference they can make in their kids' lives with intentional parenting, then their kids stand a much better chance of living a resilient, healthy life. Great advice as always. Thank you, Dr. G. Thanks for having me. More with Dr. G coming up in just a second. <laughs>